Some say that this motorsport has inspired the greatest number of that joke, such as I bet it's pretty fast mowing the lawn with that racing mower of yours. Hmm, funny. But in reality, this sport is fast, loud, hard. But most of all, it's a dangerous adrenaline rush. Hello ladies and mostly gentlemen, some of you may know, but I used to race mowers. Unfortunately, I retired 6 years ago, and it was way before I started this YouTube channel, driven by desire to share with you what is this unorthodox sport, I gave the call to one of my good friends who is the president of the CTGQ association, and I barely had the time to explain to him what I wanted to do, that he immediately replied to me. You want to race? Uh, sure. So buckle up and follow me into that incredible but nonsense world of racing mowers. After a road trip of two and a half hours with my son, we arrived in the charming little village of saint anne de prescott in Ontario, where people were getting busy preparing the anti-tractor festival, and of course the track, where all the madness will take place. I really enjoy these smaller rural festivals, where the smells of fries and hot dogs get mixed with the smell of racing fuel. Oh yeah, some of those machines run exclusively on high octane racing fuel. Well, I think I should introduce you to what makes a racing mower and what are the different classes. City GQ Championship are separate into five different classes. We have Pro Stack, Eco Mod, Mod or Modify, Pro Mod and Open. Starting with Pro Stock, this is the class where the machines still look a bit like your lawn tractor. Basic rules are original land mower frame, maximum engine size, 16 horsepower, and a minimum of 4 inches from the ground. Now the Eco Mod, it could be a standard or custom frame. Max 12 horsepower engine, clutch made from a tension belt, and minimum 3 inches from the ground. Moving to the modified, it's basically the Eco Mod, but you can boost the engine size to 20 horsepower. Next with Pro Mod, again same rules as the modified class, but you can do pretty much what you want to do with the engine, as long as the starting point is an engine from a lawnmower. And then comes the open class. The big difference here is in the choice of the engine donor. It could be from a quad, a motorcycle, a dirt bike, or even a skidoo, as long as it's under a thousand cc. You could have a turbo, but no nitrous. And yes, I use the words turbo and nitrous to describe rules about land mower. Yeah, it's that insane. And by the way, suspension are banned. And I mean any sorts of suspension, even on your seat. It's like they wanted you to remember when you're gonna be 50 with your back problems that you did race those machines back in the day. So enough of that nerdy petrol head stuff about horsepowers and turbos and let's prep for the race. After a quick bit meeting, where I learned that after the main event, grannies will do a couple of laps using mowers from different classes. Well, I should precise that they're gonna use the mowers that are still running. Yeah, racing is really tough on those machines. For this racing day, I was very fortunate because Danny had two mowers available for me to race. The black one is in the open class, which I try to film, but Danny's dog had different plans. So before the qualification, we had a practice run, which I did with the open tractor. Yeah, 
I was a bit rusty. The second mower available for me was a modified from Danny's girlfriend, who got injured just before racing day. Small and with controls, and I'm talking clutch, gas and brakes, completely placed differently from the open I just drove and frankly what I'm used to, yet I decided to go do the qualification with it. Too wide, but that's okay. It was my outlap. And here we go. I barely completed the modified qualification that I immediately jumped on the open for its quality run. And here we go again! While waiting for them to compile all the times to determine the starting grid for the first race, let me answer that burning question you're asking yourself. Which is, well, Vinny, in which class did you used to race six years ago? Mm, glad you ask. You know me loving speed on a budget, I went for the open class right away. The first year I built an overweight monster machine with a motorcycle engine of 600cc. To summarize it, it was too big and too powerful for absolutely nothing. Cause we're having such small tracks. And yeah, I finished last that year. The year after, I built an all aluminum 2 stroke 250YZ mower and finished third at the championship. I also included a cup holder, very useful for the after party. On my final season, I kept the same aluminum frame from the 2 stroke and changed the engine for a KFX. 450R from a quad bike and yeah finished first that year there was even a TV episode about it still available on Netflix eh, nah. it was for an obscure TV channel that probably doesn't exist anymore but that's another story and the results are in I did second for the modified class and fifth for the open not too bad since racing mower is physically really hard, I needed to choose one class to compete in. And because the modified mower was registered to the championship but not the open one, I preferred to race with it to accumulate points for its original driver, Danny's girlfriend. Yes, in this racing series, the machines are accumulating points and not the drivers. It's to prevent having spare mowers in case of a crash, thus increasing the overall cost of that mower sport, which we want to keep affordable for everyone. All right, now is the time for the main event. So let's go racing. After my first race, it was Danny's turn in the open class, and these guys did put a good show.
After all classes did their first race, they watered down the racing track and a bunch of jeeps showed up to flatten it and get it sticky again for the next race. And we repeated that process two more times, in which I did some nice overtaking. Between two races, I told Danny that I was putting a good fight with two other mowers, the orange and red one. It's just then that he told me that they were racing with engines of 20 horsepower and that my little purple machine only had 60. Ah, right, okay. After we completed the three first races, we gathered by classes and by ranking before the big final race. Then somebody sang the O Canada and luckily it wasn't me. Please start your engine! Then it was time for the final, where everything went south for me in the last lap of the race. Let's see that again in slow mo. Just one more time, but with another angle. Yep, pretty much what happened. You are like that. Once back on my feet, I was looking for my mower to go finish the race. Finishing second and third in the previous races, I was capable of a podium. But it seems that I was done for the day. Uh, I know accidents are part of racing. It's not my first one and unfortunately, probably not the last. The only race remaining was for the Open class, who Danny won, confirming its first place in the championship. Followed by the Granny's race, where once again some collisions took place, but nothing serious. Even without completing the final race, I managed to rank third by one point ahead of my closest rival. At least I achieved my goal of the day, which is not dying, I mean, finishing at least third. I want to thank Danny and all the crew of the CTGQ for the warm welcome, cause me and my son had an incredible blast with you guys and hope it showed in this episode. Oh, and I just learned that Danny's girlfriend, Kathleen, finished her season third at the championship, so congrats to her and at least my bruises and scratches were not in vain. And yeah, yeah, sorry for the wreck mower. If you're living in Quebec and want to have more infos about the CTGQ and those amazing but crazy people, link downstairs. Alright guys, so don't forget to subscribe and see you next time for the Roll Cage on the Smart Boozer.